Hi and welcome to another Elementor in CSS tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create bullets of different colors within the same bullet list in Elementor using CSS. So let's start with the text editor widget and create our bullet list here. So I will type, for example, list item 1, list item 2, and list item 3. I will create a bullet list by selecting all the text and clicking here, bulleted list. There are several ways to do this. I will show you my preferred way first, which is going to the advanced panel and assigning a class to our bullet list. So I will call it bullet list and click update. After this, I will go to the custom CSS code. I'm using a custom CSS and JavaScript plugin. You can find the link in the description of this video. And in this code, I will style my class. So what we want to do actually is we want to target uh, certain bullet points in this list. So let's say that you have 20 bullets, bullet points in the bullet list, and you want to target 2nd, 8th, and 9th. You can do this using so-called end child. Uh, so what I mean by this is simply call out your class in the CSS, so bullet list, and uh, then what we want to do is list item, which is li, and we will type in end child, and let's say I want to change the second one. So this means that I want to apply, let's say, red color. So color will be red. Click on update. And let's see what this does. I will refresh this page, Control Shift and R. And now you see that the second item in my bullet list or the second child of this parent list turns red. You don't have to stop here. You can create a different font, a different size. You can make the text bold. Anything that you apply here, for example, uh, let's say font size, I want to be 25 pixels. Click on update, refresh the page, and there you go. So all the changes that you apply to your uh, child elements of this parent bullet list uh, will be updated based on the styling that you do in the CSS for that child. If you're using Elementor Pro version, uh, you will see that in the advanced panel, you have this custom CSS field. This means that you do not have to uh, create a class necessarily and style it in your plugin, CSS plugin, but you can directly insert this code here. So if I deleted uh, the styling from my CSS code, I also deleted the class that I assigned to this, this list. And I will show you how to do the same, uh, to achieve the same effect directly here in the custom CSS field. So go here and type in selector, which will basically apply this effect to the selected item, then list item and child. And let's say we want to style our third list item this time. And I want the color to be, let's say, blue. As you can see, it applies the effect in the same way without the need to create a class that we will style in our CSS. Note that this is only available in the Elementor Pro version. If you are using a free version, then you will have to stick to the first way that I previously demonstrated. Now let's see what happens if you have custom bullets. For example, you want to use a custom image like uh, an emoji, star, a logo or something else for your bullets. And you want one bullet to have one custom image and some other bullet within the same bullet list <clears throat> to have some other image. We can use the same principle here. Uh, this time, let me just clean this. So I have the same bullet list that I inserted using the text editor widget. I will go ahead and in the advanced panel, I will assign a CSS class to this list. So let's say bullet list and click on update. Now I will go back to my CSS code using the custom CSS plugin. And I will style my bullet list here. So let's say that bullet list and let's first say that I want to apply my logo for all the bullets 
but for one or two bullets I want them to have a different image as a bullet. So I will go ahead and click uh, type list item and list style none. If you watched one of my previous videos you can find out how to add a custom uh, image as a bullet in your bullet list but I will quickly do it here as well. List style image will be none. Background now we will add the, the URL for our image, which I already have prepared here. So you will just need to insert it. No repeat and let's put on some values. If you want to understand what I'm doing exactly, uh, you can go to one of my previous videos and find out. Right now I will just go quickly through it. And background size will be 1 em and padding left let's see 1.5 ems as you can see if we click update and refresh our page we now have our logo as custom bullets now what happens if i want this second bullet to have a different image here we will use the same logic of applying the styling to the child element of this parent bullet list so I will type in bullet list, list item, and nth child, let's say the, it's the second item in this list. And I will apply, apply the same piece of code here. The only difference is that I will use a different link to my image that I want to use. So right here, I will type the link to some other image, click on update, and there you go. Now, you do not have to stop here. Again, uh, you can apply this effect to multiple bullets in your bullet list. In order to do that, uh, just here type in a comma and then add the same callout. Just change the number of the child. So let's say I want to apply to the second and the third one. I don't need a comma here actually. And it will apply the same piece of code below it to all the nth childs that you have indicated here. Click on update and when you refresh the page, there you go. So that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like, share, comment or subscribe.